Hello friends! In this video, you'll see how heavy actors of the TV series The Waltons 1972-1981 changed. You'll know their real names and age. I will show you how they looked then and what's with them now in 2022. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Let's go! Erin Walton, Mary Beth McDonough, is the daughter of the Walton couple. She's quite a pretty girl with slightly curly hair and likes to flirt with guys, has a good disposition and is enough friendly person, although she loves to spread all sorts of gossip. Jim Bob Walton is the fourth child born to the Waltons. He's fascinated by airplanes and loves to design and is also rather dreamy by nature, which often makes him slow, respects the values of the family, but he's not too religious. Played by David W. Hopper. Jason Walton is the second child born to John and Olivia. He has a good relationship with his entire family, but he's especially friendly with John Boy despite their differences. Differs in non conflict and good musical data. He was portrayed by John Walmsley. John Boy Walton, Richard Thomas, is the firstborn of the Waltons. He's a sociable and friendly guy who is used to defending his opinion and what he believes in, loves his family and has a great relationship with all his siblings. He is interested in writing. Olivia Walton, Michael learned, is John's wife. She's a loving mother and wife who cares about all members of the family and will support them to the end, doesn't tolerate violence and also has a compassionate nature and is distinguished by her religiosity. Ben Walton is the husband of Cindy Bronson and the son of the Walton couple. His main occupation is working at sawmill, but he also tries to earn extra money in other ways. The conclusion of deals often turns into problems for him, played by Eric Scott. Emily Baldwin is Mamie's youngest sister. Like her sister, she likes to dress elegantly and often appears in public in hats and can also put gloves on her hands. Played by Mary Jackson, who died in 2005 from complications of Parkinson's disease. John Walsh, Ralph Waite, is Olivia's beloved and the father of their six children. He is always accustomed to bring what he started to the end and has firmness in his decisions, allows children to determine their own path, but will always help if needed. The grandfather is Ether's husband and John's father. He has a calm, slightly stubborn character, is not devoid of wisdom and is a hard-working person, likes to joke, fish and go hunting, played by Will Gear, who died of respiratory failure in 1978. Corabeth Godsey is Ike's wife. She has excellent manners and knows the rules of etiquette perfectly. Accustomed to acting with the best of intentions, but often spreads gossip and can manifest herself as an arrogant person. Played by Ronnie Claire Edwards. Dr. Curtis Willard was the husband of Mary Ellen Walton and the father of their son John. Before meeting his future wife, he behaved rather impolitely but then he changed for the better. It's characterized by straightness. He was supported by Tom Bauer. Mamie Baldwin is Emily's sister, whom she often stands up for. She is engaged in making the recipe and in this business often shows her generous nature. Good applies with the Walton family, but especially with Jason and John Boy. She was supported by Helen Cleave. Elizabeth Walton is the youngest child of Olivia and John. She always tries to stand her ground and is not inclined to commit rash acts. She has a sensual and kind-hearted nature and also calmly listens to the advice of her relatives. Played by Cammie Cutler. Yancy Tucker is John's good friend and Sissy's husband. He's mainly in the business of selling chickens and is qualified in hairdressing. He wears sideburns and is often seen wearing a cap. He was played by Robert Donner, who died of an arrhythmia in 2006. 
Bertie Grant Foster, is the wife of Harley. She is the mother of many children and has three children from her first marriage to Wyatt, and also became a foster mother to Harley's son, Josh. She is kind and caring, wears small hoop earrings, played by Lynn Hamilton. Horace Brimley is Amy's husband and John's good acquaintance. He doesn't like to overpay, and if there is a better offer, then he will definitely use it. He dresses simply and can often be seen in denim overalls, wears a bushy mustache, played by Wilford Brimley. Marsha Woolery was John Boy's first romantic interest. She has a rather cute appearance and possesses sympathetic features and a slender physique doesn't leave dear people in a difficult situation. Time after time likes to pin up hair. Played by Tammy Buller. Sissy Walker works at the Dew Drop Inn as a bartender and is also the wife of Yancey. She herself represents as a pretty woman with blonde hair and an open smile. Rarely walks with her hair loose, mostly prefers to collect it in her hair. Played by Sissy Wellman. Hyde Godsey is John's old friend and Corbett's husband. He owns his shop and really loves it. By nature, he's a friendly and very curious person, likes to wear bow ties. Played by Joe Conley, who died from complications of dementia in 2013. Maud Gormley is the mother of Leonard, who later disappointed and upset her somewhat by trying to place her in a nursing home. She wears glasses and prefers to wear hats, mostly dark color, played by Mary Earl, who died of Euromare poisoning in 1984. Esther Walton is John's mother. She has love for her family members, but is strict with them. She has a strong character and is not used to doubting her actions. Always wears her hair pinned up, played by Alan Carby, who died on 1999 of a stroke. Harley Foster, Hal Williams, is the father of Josh and also became the second husband to Verdi, because of which his family settled in the town of Walton's Mountain. He is a rather responsible and courageous man who was able to independently raise his son. Cynthia Bronson Walton, Leslie Winston, is the wife of Ben. She is a sweet girl with a warm and wide smile who shows love and consideration towards her family. Cindy is also characterized by responsiveness, empathy, and she will always come to the aid of her family. Mary Ellen Walton, Judy Norton, is the first girl born to Olivia and John. In adolescence, she behaved somewhat eccentrically, often thought and wanted to become famous, but as she grew older, she became wiser knows how to play baseball and provide medical care. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please share it on social networks, like it, and of course subscribe to the channel.